What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy Junior here, bringing y'all back with another reaction video. You know what I'm saying? We got, we prank the professional golf tournament, bro. Bro, what you think I got going on this time, bro? Bro, what the fuck did he got going on? Hold on. Is there a remote control oh. ball there? Run! Run! You got this, man! You're probably wondering why I have him in this situation. Well, this is a series where I've done some of the craziest things with the UK's biggest prankster, Nick Amalana. We are both putting each other through four unbearable situations to see who will go through or who will fold first. We're doing all this to answer the question, who is the biggest menace? And the winner is... So, Jim, I think you need to tell us what exactly is going on. Well, back on my escapade in the most racist town in America, I ran into one of the UK's most popular pranksters, Nick Amalana, and I just smelled the menace inside of him. So I challenged him to a competition. They didn't even notice each other. Minutes between him or me, and I called it the menace off. <laughs> yeah, she challenged me to this menace off. And to be honest with you, I was just using this as an opportunity to get him deported so I never have to see him again. Damn. Back in Paris, <laughs> Nico had me put up something somewhere. So now that it's my turn, I want Nico to put something somewhere. I want Nico to put his balls inside of another man's hole. And not just any man, Rory McElroy's. What? Okay, so I see shit here. This whole cinema is completely empty. <laughs> I wanted all of this to play out like a movie. So, to make sure that happened, I ran out of a movie theater and had him watch the greatest movie of all time, Happy Gilmore. Jade could have just simply explained the plan, but instead, he made me watch a whole two hour movie before he let me hear it. Happy Gilmore, one of the greatest golfers of our time. I want you to be great just like him. So, the plan is, I want you to go to a PGA Tour, one of the most highest and prestigious honors any golfer can be bestowed upon him. Not only do I want you to participate, I want you to win. So, I have equipped for you a remote control golf ball. You're gonna go to the 18th hole and hit a hole in one against one of the go-to golfers, Roy McIlroy, a four-time major tournament champion, and one of the greatest of all time. I absolutely despise that mega mind merchant, Jid. He wants me to mess with the PGA Tour, which is a major event and, and high levels of security. And they were never gonna be happy if a scrawny guy like myself decided to get involved and interrupt midway through. You usually don't see too many black people at a PGA Tour, so to make sure no suspicion was raised, we went to our nearest dicks to go on the cover. <laughs> We're getting ready for the PGA Tour. His dad's about to play. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out? What do you say? Yeah. You got home? Just remember this, right? I'm out, you say. What is it? Yeah, there you go. There we go, my guy. Thank you, man. Thank you. We looked apart. Hop in the car. I swear someone I, I thought PGA someone was calling my name. Started scouting around to find the perfect hole for Nico to put his balls in. But this golf ball looked a bit shoddy, so before we could scout out the location, we needed to run a few tests on our amazing golf ball. What I'm about to do is a run through with this ball, and let's see if it works. Well, I'm glad I tried that. You know, if that happens, I think I'll have a heart attack. The first thing I noticed about this golf ball was it would split if I rolled it in the wrong way, which isn't a good thing when I needed to roll it on the green. I'll just end up placing it down here. And then, this is gonna be painfully slow. Nah, that's the, that's the fastest it'll go. The second thing I noticed was it was painfully slow and the ball did not move in a straight line. It was super jaggedy. I just walked on. Stop, Rory! This is how you do it! Oh. Little spin, come back, and oh, I lost connection. I can't believe it. And the final thing I noticed was the ball had a very, very limited radius, which meant I had to be close to the ball at all times. Just what you need in a very popular golf tournament with a lot of fans watching. You see, I knew there was gonna be a few problems. So that's why I set a whole day for us to just plan everything out. Because if we fix all the problems that day, whenever it's time to do it, it's gonna be a recipe for. <laughs> 
Yes! Success. With all the new information that we gathered on the ball, we then made our way over to the 18th hole, where it was finally time to test and see if this would actually work. Oh my gosh, there we are. Our first golfers. So here, we're gonna go up there. We're gonna be sitting down. We're gonna try to get as close as down as possible. Then you're just gonna just throw it down right before, you know, he tees off. Then you're just controlling this hole. I mean, it was the perfect plan. That we couldn't use, because if I were to drop the golf ball from that height, it would have definitely split in half, which meant the hole 18 was out of the mix, and we needed to find a new hole. You good, Jack? Nice to meet you. Good, you. Okay, no, right. I got a question. Nice Is there a, another hole that has more people, or would this be the hole that has the most people right now? Yeah. Hole 15? Yeah. Still? I feel like just dropping, dropping it in isn't going to work. Then here, let's go to hole 15. Since hole 18 was ruled out, we had to ask the young ones what would be the best hole to perform this prank at. And that's when we realized that we had to start making our way over to hole 15. Yo, nigga, what do you think about this hole? Oh, it's pretty full, but I'm saying in terms of distance from there to there. The other side might be closer. Should we try it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. That's so easy. Where is it? There. You don't get this. That's cold. That is cold. Shall I be real with you, though? It means I have to chuck it through because it won't move through this. Chucking it that far, I could split. Because the cheap plastic golf ball was so bad, it meant if I were to throw the ball, it would split, which meant that if I was going to do this, I had to go onto the golf course, which meant we had to work out a way where I could blend in with the staff and get onto the golf course without too many issues. But, but okay, so if, I, if I'm doing that, what do the officials look like? You see they're wearing these, these bibs. I want to put it on the grass. What I'm saying is you do it like, if, if, if I can get like one of those bibs or something like that, I can put it on the grass without anyone even flinching. Even at the very least, get one of those white shirts, That's what I was put a cream and then have a pass that just yeah. resembles that. Yeah, let's take a picture. We saw this security guard and we basically hatched a plan to take a picture with him just so we could copy his exact look. Excuse me. Sir. Sir. Can we take a picture with you? Please. A picture. Is it okay if we take a picture with you? A picture. We come from England, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got, is that, is that okay? Well, on this side or that side? Uh, Over here, that's fine. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so much. Yeah. Has anyone got a hole in one on this hole yet? Seven inches was the closest. Uh, that was Michael. Was it? Oh, of course. Of course it was Rory. Mm. Uh, Rory? Was <laughs> In no way it was Rory. Yes, put it in the water here. Did he? Yeah. Oh, wow. He had triple bogey. He triple? No. You no, know, he actually triple bogey my mom. What? So that's a whole different story. That's crazy. I can't believe you were even revealing that one. Wait, guys, stop! Are you a munch? You want to go on a date with Ice Spice? Hit that like button right now and subscribe to my channel for a chance to win a PS5 custom and a date with Ice Spice herself. Hurry up. There's a lot of munches out there. Thank you, man. It's like a side mission in Skyrim. We had to get him four items in order to get him on the golf course. We had to get a hat, a lanyard, a white polo shirt, and probably the hardest out of all of them, a PGA badge. So the item that we decided to go after first was the lanyard. Excuse me, man. Uh, by any chance, I see everybody walking around with lanyards. I love lanyards. Where can I get one? You mean like one of these? I don't think they're selling them in the store. Oh, really? Maybe they are. Try that. Try the merchandise tent. They have everything in the merchandise. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, Great. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. So we had figured out what we needed to get close to the hole, but now we have to actually find the apparel. So we went over to the merch tent and tried to match it up exactly to what the volunteers had on. During our time in the merch tent, we were able to get three out of the four items that we needed. Now all we needed to do was make the four. So, we headed back home, had Kowalski hop on Photoshop, make us a fake PGA badge. Now it's time to just get a name. What's the name say? Absolutely. Yeah. That oh. is the name of my great-grandfather. Oh. <laughs> really? Yep. Yep, it is. So, thank you. And, uh, yeah, honestly, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. The PGA Tour BMW Championship. My eyes are set on the GOAT, Rory McIlroy himself. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. It's day two now. Nico literally has no excuse. We've done all the planning. He has the ball. He practiced with it. And he's in uniform. There was one area that we messed up, though. Nico, 
I knew they, they changed it. I knew they were. Look, I can't zoom in, but they, they flipped it. Meet this in the back, meet this in the back. Sometimes on major tournament days, they change the hole from one side of the green to the other just to switch it up. And we didn't count for this. So we had to change the plan. Remember when I said they were gonna change the holes? Yeah. They changed them. Change the plans, follow me. You're gonna have to go in through that side because it's closer. If you go in through the side that we were thinking about going through, it'll take too long for the ball to get there. I won't lie, I was very nervous. Usually when I'm disturbing events, I'll do it when the event is finished and I'll have some type of reason for why I'm doing it in the first place. And with this one, there was no reason. And I knew they weren't just gonna let some random guy trolling their event get away with it. There was going to be consequences, but I still had to do it. And here we have McElroy locked in, ready. And bam, McElroy wrapping up on hole eight with a par. See what I mean? We've been playing for it to be all the way on this side. We want it to be as close as possible. I think if you just walk through, you'll be perfectly fine. We're gonna go on and go on the other side. If you wanna go on that side, go on that side. Okay, I'm saying this side. Okay. Bro, right, there's like some on the top of this cover Despite shit, bro. Change, the plan was still a go, but Rory was stroking that thing fast. And he was oh. fast approaching. Hey, yo. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank Probably you. wondering why a bunch of people take pictures with me. Yeah. Rory likes black girls, and there's rumors that I might be his son. <laughs> Rory. Oh. I know you can see it in the face. All right. Well, we're gonna send. We're gonna start that How rumor on social media. How, I'm 21. How old Rory? He started early. Yeah. He wasn't that much of a professional raw dogger. With only three strokes in, that's what we call a par in the world of golf, my friends. Rory has officially demolished hole 12. It's almost time. We're right next to the hole. Rory McIlroy is about to step up. There is only one thing to do, but there's a million things that could go wrong. So go on, man. Let's just hope we do it. All we've got to do now is just wait for Rory to arrive. I'll take this off and it's, it's time to go. Focused, keen, and aware. And he takes that shot on the 15th hole. Was that Rory that's in it? I'm not sure. I can't see. That was Rory. He's got a green shirt for sure. Yeah. Roy had just gotten to the 15th hole. It was make or break time for Nico now. Okay, Roy's here over there. Give me a sec, give me a sec. As I walked away to get changed into my disguise, I thought to myself, this is it. The moment we all prepared for is right around the corner. Bro, bro, go, he's about to finish, go. Which one's going? The one in the green. Roy's about to tee off and leave the 15th hole. This was our only chance. I might just go now. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. I have one try at this. If I fail, I'm done. I folded and I lose this series. Dad, you got this. And get arrested. Rory! 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 Yo, what's that guy doing? So I put the ball down and I locked eyes with Mr. Rory McElroy. And I said to him, This is how you get a hole in one. Are you ready? I don't know. Rory doesn't seem too happy with somebody. I'm going to do it. What's going on here? Is there a remote control ball there? No! Rory! It was clear Rory didn't want me to put my ball in his hole, but I still had one more chance to put it in there. Please, man. Please, Rory. Rory, stop. It's my dream. <laughs> That's my dream, Rory! Rory McIlroy picked up my ball and threw it into the ocean, never to be seen again, to the bottom of the sea, and it was over for me. Boom! You all suck! Good job, you bro! Suck. That's my dream! Go get him next time! Oh. You you get him next time, man! We just had the biggest golfer in the world grab our golf ball and throw it into the lake, and it could have all been prevented if Nico just made a hole in one. I knew we couldn't find it. I had one dream, one dream, no! <laughs> you will regret this day, Rory McIlroy! Then as I was being taken off the green, I saw a security guard whip out some handcuffs and I bugged out, because I wasn't trying to get arrested by the security. Then that's when I realized that the person who escorted me off the green wasn't a security guard, it was a full-blown policeman. And when I saw that policeman behind me, I knew it was a long day for me. I knew it. Listen, I just wanted to be a golfer. You're such a loser, aren't you, huh? I mean, how are we all doing? Peace out, guys! <laughs> what a freaking loser. 
Boy getting arrested. Look at Nico. He got past security, made it onto the cores, actually got to talk to the goat himself, Rory McElroy. And then the whole part of this video, which was for him to get the ball into the hole, he fucked that up. And then Nico was caught, taken away, and then after finally finding him, he found out he had been arrested. We went from police station to police station to try to find out where he was booked. Then after hours of looking, we finally got a call. We coming for you, man. We coming. Oh, you can't save me. I don't have much time. Uh, <laughs> one question. What's up? Uh, is, is that a fault? <laughs> well, I mean, you were right there and you didn't miss the hole like three times. You can't do this, man. You know what? Just because you got arrested. Not a photo. Good job. <laughs> Alright, see you in two days, bro. We're gonna go, uh, I don't know, Vegas. Alright. Bring my boy Now, although Nico didn't get the ball in the hole, we didn't take into account that Rory was a part time goalkeeper and he got arrested. So, no photo. Well done, Nico. Fair play to Jid for getting me arrested for the sake of a YouTube series. But I really fought for myself and realized that I don't want to do this anymore because the amount of pain I'm going to cause Jid in the next one is going to be crazy. My vengeance will seep through his skin. So the plan is to scare Jid into thinking he's getting cancelled, but worse than that, cancelled by his own community. I'm colorblind, you know? Like, actually. So the caption says, I like my family melanin free. He's not even just trying to make me bold. He's trying to end me. Where I'm from, we will call you an Uncle Tom. A sell out. I am so ashamed of you. Yo, what is going on? Hey guys, man, be sure to go check out. But if you guys enjoy that shit, make sure I leave a like, comment, and subscribe to you. But bro, this shit about to go crazy, bro. What's going on with this shit, bro? If y'all enjoy that shit, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace, love y'all.